Hey, Austin, thanks so much for being here. Super excited to have you as guest on the Modern Marketing Podcast here. Hey, thanks so much for having me, man. Oh, absolute pleasure. I mean, really excited. We were chatting before we hit record, which is, I mean, this pretty much always happens. Every time we we start to talk before, we cover so much material. So I wanted to jump on there and uh, and hit that record button as soon as we can and start talking about some of the good things. I mean, we were chatting about membership versus high ticket, some of the contest and sweepstakes marketing and, and a whole bunch of other gems. I don't want to give away just yet because I want to let you cover them because you're doing such a good job with it. So before we dive into all that, why don't you give us just a little bit about you? and a little bit about your story yeah man so my name is Austin Distel Uh, I'm originally from Atlanta but just recently moved up to Annapolis Maryland with a few other digital marketing entrepreneurs up here man uh, just to start this incredible company the entrepreneur Alliance check it out later Um, but yeah super pumped been in digital marketing now for like three years Um, unlike most people who I I guess kind of found this space uh, I actually went to the University of Georgia and graduated with a degree in online marketing. So, mm. it, you know, I, I don't think that really like I, I'm any ahead of the curve. Actually, if I probably spent all the class time that I did uh, on my own learning from other people, uh, you know, and taking courses, I'd probably be a little further ahead. Yeah. But uh, it, it's cool to have the academic side to it, too. Yeah, no, I, I understand. I actually have a degree in marketing as well. And it's one of my, I shouldn't say my least used pieces of education, but oh man, like if I knew like the amount of information that I learned after the degree was over or what, it's not even, it's not even comparable, right? So yeah, just crazy. Dude, it's so funny because a lot of the times we were talking about campaigns, everything from Barbie to Sunglass Hut, because yeah. my teacher, my professor owns a marketing agency in Atlanta. And so she just bring in her clients as case studies. Yeah. But uh, the campaigns that we run in the real world, like for small local business owners or e-commerce products or whatever, totally different. Yeah. Totally different than like what Barbie does. Yeah. Yeah. Be, yeah. There's there's certainly a time and place. Anytime you start to l- sort of look at the structure of the company and how these made the massive brands and all that are marketing opposed to how it translates to some of the smaller, like if you're doing less than a few million or whatever it is. Yeah. Completely different in, in how you're going to structure the campaign. So some, yeah, some valuable fundamentals, but still just nothing, right? Like no, com- yeah. no comparison there. <laughs> Right on. So you moved up to Annapolis because you're obviously sick of warm, nice weather and decided to uh, to move to the cold and and rock the flannel. Yeah, man. Got to rock the flannel up yep. here. You know, I still got to support my Braves, though. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, I moved up here about a week ago. So this is, uh, you know, early January. Uh, got up here January 1st. Um, I've been running my own marketing agency now for a little over a year and a half, almost coming up on two years. Bravado Marketing Agency. Um, and in the meantime, like I've, I guess come to learn a whole bunch of different types of online marketing, everything from SEO to pay-per-click to, you know, how, how to build email list and, you know, do video marketing and, uh, kind of just found my, my home, uh, building membership sites, uh, particularly the entrepreneur Alliance with Dave Rogan Moser, Chris and JP. And, uh, and so when I saw the vision for what we're doing with that, decided to go ahead and make the move and be up here right next to him every day. Right on. Yeah. You can't get too close to Dave. No, that's fantastic. We've had, uh, we had Dave on the, uh, the show a few episodes back there and yeah, told us all about the entrepreneur Alliance. Absolutely phenomenal group of which, uh, I'm proud to be a part of as well. A lot of just amazing people in there. Some really good advice, uh, and a really interesting model as well. There's obviously the full sort of, uh, transparency there with the, the pricing and the structure and putting the books all on chart. So maybe you can talk a little bit about one of the things that I was excited to hear, which is sort of the membership model versus the high ticket. And for those that are listening and aren't really familiar with high ticket, maybe you can dive into that one just a little bit as well. Yeah, totally. So there's kind of <laughs> two schools of thought. Do you sell something really big up front or do you have something that's maybe a recurring model? We call that subscription. And, um, you know, just from what I've learned and what my mentors have taught me, such as Dave Rogan Moser, they've tried it all, right? Mm-hmm. They've done the 497, the 997, the 1497, the weekend workshop, the boot camp, the monthly membership. And it is all different models and they all have pros and cons. Um, I think that you got to figure out what works best for your audience. How do they learn in the right way? Um, And is this a skill that is just a one-time thing you need to learn? Or is this something that can be ongoing, um, whether it's motivational or is there a community attached to it? And so we have personally just had a lot more enjoyment and really are getting a kick out of building a membership site versus just a one-off ticket 
big ticket item like a, a 997 workshop mastermind or whatever else it is. It's just fun to, to get to know characters within the group and, and I feel like you get a lot more invested when there's a membership to it because you just end up creating friendships and you don't want them to quit. You know, it's like there's like decreasing churn rates a big thing. So how do you make sure that they're actually successful? Right. You right. know, there's so many courses out there that don't really care if you end up being successful. Whereas like with a membership, you're not going to pay next month if you didn't get value the month before. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that community, you really hit the nail on the head there with that community aspect of it, right? Like it's so, it's so fundamental, especially when we're talking about something as intangible as online marketing. I mean, we're talking, I'm over here in Vancouver, you're down there in Annapolis. I mean, we've got people from all over the world. So if you're just, you don't want to feel like you're just sitting there behind your computer, completely alone and unsupported. So the fact that you can have that camaraderie and get that support and have that interaction. Yeah, it's, it's massive. And one thing I want to point out is, you know, a lot of people have asked me, Austin, you're in online marketing. Why did you move? Right. Like, especially you know, you especially somewhere to. chilly, right? Why aren't you living in like the Bahamas or Hawaii or yeah. <laughs> Dude, I would love to be like Alex Becker right now in the That's Cayman. Right, Islands. in the Caymans, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's he's doing um, something right. Yeah, for real. You know, and and it's it's a funny topic of conversation because we live in the most connected world on earth. At any point in time, you probably have actually already heard my phone buzzing. I don't know how to turn off my notification <laughs> sounds uh, from my iMessage and Facebook and all this stuff. It's constantly bombarding with contact, yet we're the least connected. Right. And I, I think that's incredible that we just live in this day and age where human connection is truly just like connection. Like on 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 – LinkedIn, they call it connections. On Facebook, they call it friends. Mm -hmm. But are those really connections and friends? I would say no. Uh, and and the reason why I moved up to Annapolis to work side by side is because it is so much fun to banter back and forth and throw the Nerf ball around the room and just spitball ideas. Yeah. Uh, that kind of thing gets me fired up. And we were talking about this earlier today, me, Dave, and the other guys, that it is – really easy to be a super successful online marketer who made it himself and like he just sits in his own dungeon has the lights and you know the green screen and has all this other kind of stuff going on but it's only him right versus maybe splitting you know and getting a, a partnership or maybe even a couple guys to start a company and have to split up the profits and make a little bit less money each but the process is so much more rewarding and so much more fun because the connections and the friendships and the jokes that are made. Oh my God, it's like a party every day. We have happy hours at 4 p.m. for like 30 minutes where we just kind of, you know, talk. And nothing serious, just hanging out. Yeah. And that's what makes it fun. Yeah. And I, I've been really on this kick lately of it, it, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And you got to enjoy the process. Hmm. Um, and so just really, I, I've been focusing on how can I make the process more enjoyable every day? Cause it is easy. And honestly, most people are destined to be lonely entrepreneurs. And if you can find a way to connect with other entrepreneurs, you're going to have a much happier existence. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. No connection is absolutely key. So let's, let's talk about the process then. Let's talk about the process of growing EA entrepreneur Alliance. Uh, let's talk about the process of some of the things that have been sort of used in there to build up the membership. Cause obviously I've been watching it from the sidelines here and watching it just sort of take off essentially. So, I mean, it, it's growing pretty rapidly. What have been some of the ways that, uh, that have worked for the EA? And then maybe let's talk about how that could parallel to someone that's not involved with online marketing. Like say they have a brick and mortar business. What are some of the strategies that are going to be sort of cross boundaries? They're going to work for all kinds of businesses. Sure. So I think that all marketing is twofold. You have internal and external. Mm -hmm. Internal marketing being, you know, your current customers. How do you get them to just have such an affinity and love for your brand and your products and your company that they naturally talk about it? There's success stories that come out of it. You know, the, the, the people end up being your best marketing tool. And then you have your external marketing, which is all the classic stuff we think about. Video ads, pay-per-click, SEO, et cetera. Um, I think that it is our success with EA has been twofold because of both sides. You have JP and Chris Hull who are both doing the internal marketing. How do we help our EA members be uber successful, 
just get this raving fan audience that loves us. And then on the other side, how do we get more members through just promotional marketing? And that's where me and Dave are. Um, and so I, I would say like getting a system in place for your internal marketing is key. Mm-hmm. So for example, um, we use uh, a couple integrations, one being Drift. So you go onto the EA's website, jointhealliance.co, and you'll see in the bottom right-hand corner there's a little um, pop-up that says, hey, Austin here, how can I help you? Yeah. And uh, and that has been great. It hooks in with our Slack channel, Yeah. and at any time, me, Dave, Chris, or JP can hop in there, answer the visitor's information, and it's not, so we had this, this uh, discussion today, do we implement a bot or not? Hmm. Right, yeah. but we know bot marketing is going to be huge. Yeah, but we decided to actually not go with the bot because it's not as authentic. Right. So for those Most listening that people- aren't familiar with bot marketing, essentially it's like an automated response that's going to say, "Hey, how can I answer your questions?" And then it's going to say whatever you've programmed it to say, or possibly collect an email or 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 not. So yeah, obviously pros and cons, right? The pros are you're going to get an immediate response. The cons are that it's it's a bot. Totally, man. And, and so just like thinking about our brand image is that everything that we are about is authenticity and transparency. Mm-hmm. And so when you see my face there, it says, hey, how can I help? Yeah. And then a robot responds. Yeah. No more authenticity and yeah. transparency is a little bit more smoke and mirrors. Yeah. So uh, we just thought it's not on brand. And while it might be a little more efficient because we get a, a ticket every 10 minutes or whatever mm-hmm. asking a question – um, it, it's probably not as, uh, you know, it's not as efficient, but it's definitely more on brand. And I think people respect it more when it's somebody real. Yeah, absolutely. So that's an example of internal marketing that I think that, um, is important to think about. It's like, it's not just about, you know, how do you automate this, but how do you still bring this human a- atmosphere to it? Right. So essentially it sounds like you guys have assigned like a customer success team. Like you've yeah. gone out there and you've, you've actually made it an integral part of the marketing, which which is absolutely genius, right? Because again, it's sort of playing on the fact that referral marketing and word of mouth, so powerful, but so hard to sort of uh, to collect and to really build up and take advantage of. So yeah, when you're able to do that. Drift also as a, as a chat thing, phenomenal tool to have. Yeah, I've used that on, on most of my sites and for a lot of clients as well. Really good. Even if you've got something that says, hey, we're not here right now, we'll be back later. People really like that sort of Facebook Messenger style communication, mm-hmm. get the instant answer, uh, which actually, I don't know if you've heard of this one, it's called ManyChat. It's kind of, a, it's like a bot program for Facebook Messenger. So maybe you've heard about Facebook Messenger marketing becoming a lot more popular, obviously, as we're moving forward. It's uh, certainly beyond the, we don't have the time to dive into that one right now, but ManyChat is uh, a tool probably worth looking into unless you do want to stay away from bots. So maybe take a look at yeah. it, but otherwise. Awesome. It's Good recommendation, man. Yeah. It's, uh, so, it's mostly so kind of like tying re- in, you said internal and external marketing, yeah. right? So I think that they're not disconnected. Yeah. I think that's a big thing. People are thinking like, oh, I got to have my customer support team over here. And then I have my promotion team over here. Yeah. And it's not like that. And actually, I'll, I'll use a case study as to prove my point, is the moment that we did a campaign just asking our members, saying, you know, I, we reached out to them individually and said, hey, would you mind making like a, a quick 45 second video? Or if, if that's too much, you're camera shy, just maybe write me back a post of why you love EA. Yeah. And then what we would do is screenshot the testimonials and then download and edit the uh, the uh, the video testimonials to make it a little more compressed and easy to digest for most people because they'll say a lot of ums and rants. Yeah. So, but um, when we added those testimonials to our landing page, we increased our conversion rate from uh, about 22% to about 32% or so. Yeah. 31 to 34 every other day it changes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that testimonial addition to the checkout page yeah. and to the sales page has totally revolutionized uh, you know, the amount of money that we're able to spend on ads because we see that come back twofold. No kidding. No kidding. Yeah, that's phenomenal. I mean, if you're able to boost sort of the conversion rate, and again, for those that aren't familiar with conversion rate, you're basically getting more people to sign up than were before. So 10% more, which is in in the online marketing world. I mean, that's a huge number. 
that is an absolutely massive number that can equate to thousands or millions of dollars over uh, over a lifetime. So yeah, absolutely powerful. And yeah, it just goes to show the power of social proof. So how were you guys able to go out there and collect the emails? Was it as simple as saying, hey, just shoot a quick shot for us, write something down and, and you got a good response? Yeah, literally that easy. And, and, and it's funny because every day, we have people just on their own whim yeah. write their own testimonial. And so that just proves to us that we're doing something pretty cool yeah. is that they'll just out of their way in the middle of their day because we're all busy. There's so many things to do. Yeah. They actually decided to take five, ten minutes out of their day and write up, I love you guys. Yeah. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Think you're doing great stuff. Keep it up. Just to do that, like that shows us that, man, it is important to invest into your people. Yeah. And that is something that you won't see in most high ticket items. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Understood. So again, that's sort of the benefit of that membership model versus the high ticket where you're able to really sort of foster that community and that engagement. Yeah. Again, for no other reason than, than financial as well, because if you don't keep people happy, they're going to churn, they're going to, uh, they're going to quit and they're, they ain't coming back. So yeah, very cool. So what's the future for Austin and what's the future for the entrepreneur Alliance? What is it? What, how's that look? Yeah, man. So it's funny. Most of the world is saying, how can we get online? Yeah. Right. We're actually having the opposite conversation. How can we take this offline? Okay. How can we get into people's homes? How can we have live events? How can we, you know, have get together and cocktail hours on a local level? Mm -hmm. And, um, and so my pet project, I take my Friday and focus all my energy on EA local mm -hmm. and Atlanta is test city chapter number one. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be doing all kinds of really cool stuff to give you like a sneak preview into it. We'll be doing uh, mastermind events uh, at people's homes every week yeah. where everybody in Atlanta gets together and we just talk about cool ideas around a certain subject, hang out, you know, talk, just brainstorm entrepreneurship. Yeah. Have that connection because most people aren't married to an entrepreneur if you are one. Uh, most people, they're friends. They they know that you're an entrepreneur. They might spitball ideas with you, but like they don't even know what you really do most right. of the time. And so just to have that outlet in person to brainstorm with other entrepreneurs is so key to making this thing go from just a membership site to a real movement and revolution. Hopefully by the end of, of the next couple of years, we can make this thing take off where people are getting tattoos of the EA <laughs> flag on their bicep. Like yeah. that's where we want to end up taking this thing, man. Big goals, but, big vision. I know, right? Uh, you know, but uh, going on from just the the weekly masterminds, we're gonna end up doing monthly cocktail hours, where you know we shake things up. We want to be different, man. We want to have fun. We don't think business should be all like you know buttoned up ties and you know B and I's, right? Yeah, like this is yeah. not supposed to be like where I have thirty seconds to pitch myself. Yeah. Like we want to have this where you're hanging out and you're just brainstorming your ideas. You're getting advice and, and like you're being authentic. You're not trying to put on this show of like, I'm this high class CEO entrepreneur. Like, just be the dude that everybody can relate with. Hmm. And um, and so going on from there after the the cocktail hours, you know, doing week, uh, doing monthly workshops and then seminars and then hopefully we're gonna sell out the Georgia Dome. Have you guys seen the Mercedes Benz Stadium? It is badass. No. Is it? <laughs> just just check check out Atlanta Mercedes Benz Stadium and you'll so, see the most high class brand new state of the art stadium coming to town. Yeah. All so, right. I'm going to link that up in the show notes. Sell this thing out for the EA 2020 Summit. There you go. Yeah, I'll link it up in the show notes. We'll check out Atlanta Mercedes Benz Stadium. There we go. 2020 you say. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. I'll hold you to it. All right, my friend, that sounds amazing. Yeah. Big visions, big, uh, big aspirations. I think all you've got a great team there to help do it. So if any, if anyone can do it, it's going to be you guys there. Uh, what did I not ask you that I totally should have? <laughs> well, I mean, I think that there are a lot of really cool promotions that you can do for your company that will make you stand out. Um, you know, we did one last night that actually took off hmm. and one thing I think is interesting like I think that you should always go with the spontaneous instinct of just throwing pickles on the wall and see what sticks to the window right like yeah. just try it I would say that 80% of our best campaigns were thrown up in like a blink of an eye just say hey try it see if hmm. that works one of them was last night hmm. um, we 
decided like, hey, why don't we just do a sweepstakes or a yeah sweepstakes for a free year annual membership to the Entrepreneur Alliance. If you share this post um, and you comment like a friend of, you know, if you can think of an entrepreneur who is either already made it or on the rise, tag them in here. We had a video that's like a you know, lifestyle video of like entrepreneurship and kind of what our core values are. Um, and then most importantly, the reason why we want to get this thing shared is if we get, we publicly stated this in the thing, if this video or if this post gets 250 shares, we're gonna give $1,000 to entrepreneurial uh, women in India to start their business. Cool. And this thing has been rocketing like wildfire. Yeah. We haven't not put $1 into paid ads, by the way. Yeah. This is all just like friends tagging friends, and it's spiraling out of control. We have hundreds of entrepreneurs tagging every couple hours. It is fantastic, and we feel really good about what we're doing too. Like we're knowing that we're giving a thousand dollars away to entrepreneurial women in India. A thousand bucks to them is like twenty grand, right? And yeah. they're starting a business. They're impacting their community, and so we feel good about what we're doing. And we're like getting a huge warm list of people that are probably clicking on our website that's there saying like, hey, what's the fuss all about here with Entrepreneur Alliance, click here. Right. And uh, so now that they're in our retargeting segment, which is they visit your website, they now leave to go back to Facebook and they start seeing your ads everywhere. Yeah. It's a cookies thing, right? Like yeah. online marketing stuff. Uh, and, and so, yeah, it has been great. It's making our conversion rate much higher too. And uh, I think it's just, kind of impacting people on a different level. This is not just about sales. It's about how do you, you know, bring in different atmospheres of entrepreneurship. Yeah. Doing good while well being good and making money and all the other stuff that comes in between. Yeah. So interesting. So basically the, and this just came from a whim. So I guess the takeaway message here is that don't be afraid to try something, right? Especially in today with the tools we have available today. I mean, you don't need to put together a $50,000 marketing campaign. You can shoot a quick video. You can throw it out there with some ideas and just, yeah, see, see what works and see what doesn't. And don't be afraid to, um, to put yourself out there. Yeah. yeah. And I'll give you guys all like a, a preview since you're all the modern marketing podcast Perfect. here. Perfect. Um, we're gonna be doing a, a huge split test run next month uh, on doing all humor. Okay. So we're gonna be going kind of with this whole thing like entrepreneurship doesn't have to be so serious. Yeah. And just trying to be the funniest company out there. Okay. And run that against like the serious like lifestyle coolness. Yeah. Like, you know, like guys in like blazers talking. Like that's kind of like how we have now like lifestyle like entrepreneurship is like the cool thing to be. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna kinda go out on this like positioning of like, how can we get the most amount of like crying emojis, like laughing, crying yeah. emojis on our post? All right, we'll like keep how our many eyes. of those can we get? We'll yeah. keep our eyes peeled. All right, I'll, I'll put that in the notes. We'll keep our eyes peeled for next month for the funny, the funny marketing push at Entrepreneur Alliance. I'll, I'll let you know how it goes, man. Uh, <laughs> I think it's gonna be pretty good, though. It's always good when you run these tests if you're able to collect the data, right? Because I mean, you gotta you gotta have something that you can run a case study with, and then you're able to sort of uh, get some information from it and how it can apply. So, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, man. You know, as as many people, as many marketers are like me, like off the wall, just kind of throwing ideas at all the time. Yeah. Uh, if you really want to be successful, you gotta have the metrics in hand. So. Me and Dave, we, we keep each other uh, always on our game. We have this kind of thing where we, we just throw out, we, like in the middle of the day, we'll say, hey, what are the numbers? And we're like testing each other. Yeah. We gotta know that stuff on the spot. And so just, it, you know, while you might be a spontaneous dude, know your numbers. You yeah. know, I, I would say I'm probably one of the most spontaneous people in the world, but uh, you gotta know your numbers every part of the day. Absolutely. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, especially the way that we're trending now and with uh, with how quickly your ad budget can spiral out of control if you're not staying on top of it. So, <laughs> so yeah, true, man. We've all been there. No. Yeah, no kidding, eh? Awesome. Austin, hey, man. Real pleasure having you on the show. Super appreciate all the great wisdom you share. I'll make sure to link that up. And uh, where else can people learn more about you and contact you? Yeah, so uh, I am super reachable. Uh, I, I try and answer every message, although... I'm gonna be honest. Over the last like couple of weeks, it's it's gotten pretty big. I have a, a list of people I need to talk to tonight. 
uh, and just Facebook message. But yeah, look me up on on Facebook at Austin Distel, D-I-S-T-E-L. Uh, Instagram, same thing, Austin Distel. Um, you know, I, I uh, try and post pretty often. I need to get better at my Snapchat game, but um, same thing, man. I, I'm really consistent. Austin Distel, you look me up anywhere, you'll find me. Um, reach out, like just not even to you know try and you know get into EA, but I just want to know you. You know, let's let's talk about entrepreneurship and some cool ideas, man. Excellent. Awesome. Hey, well, you heard that there, Modern Marketing Podcast community. Time to reach out and give Austin a shout and yeah, have a chat. Fun guy to talk to. Really good advice. Much appreciated. Thanks so much for being here. Hey, thanks for having me, man. We'll talk to you soon.